morning students today i am going to discuss about the questions related to exercise 2.3 the first question we have to identify which one is the function and which one is not a function from the first question it is given the order pairs 2 1 5 1 8 1 11 1 14 1 17 1 तो यहां हम देखते हैं पहला पहला जो ऑब्जेक्ट होता है पहला पहला नंबर दैट इज द डोमेन एंड द सेकंड एलिमेंट्स इज कंसीडर एज द इमेज ऑफ इट और इट कैन बी ए रेंज ओके सो हियर एज वन डायग्राम आई एम टेकिंग टू फाइव एट इलेवन फोर्टीन सेवनटीन मतलब इसमें मैंने सभी डोमेन की वैल्यूज फर्स्ट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट लिखे हैं एंड द सेकेंड वन दैट इज द इमेज पार्ट आई हेव सबका इमेज ऑल द डोमेन आर हैविंग द सेम इमेज इफ ऑल द डोमेन ऑफ द दे आर हैविंग द इमेज कोई भी एलिमेंट डोमेन में ऐसा नहीं छूटना चाहिए कि जिसका इमेज ना हो ऑल द एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस डोमेन इन हैविंग देयर इमेज इफ एनी ऑफ द एलिमेंट ऑफ ए डोमेन इमेज देन इट विल नॉट बी ए फंक्शन सभी एलिमेंट्स के डोमेन का यहां कोई ना कोई इमेज होना चाहिए लेकिन यहां हम देख रहे सभी एलिमेंट्स जो डोमेन में है उसका इमेज वन है ठीक है अब यहां पे टू फाइव एट इलेवन फोर्टीन सेवनटीन आर द एलिमेंट ऑफ डोमेन ऑफ एक्स है यूनिक इमेजेस सो दिस रिलेशन इज ए फंक्शन तो डोमेन फर्स्ट वाले एलिमेंट्स हो जाएंगे और रेंज सभी का रेंज एक ही है एक ही इमेज है वन तो एक ही बात लिखेंगे सो दैट इज अवर आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू में देखें टू वन फोर टू सिक्स थ्री एट फोर टेन फाइव ट्वेल्व सिक्स फोर्टीन सेवन अब यहां पे x डोमेन इसके एलिमेंट्स क्या हो जाएंगे पहले पहले वाले टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन एंड फॉर द रेंज और द इमेज ऑफ दो एलिमेंट्स विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो टू का इमेज वन फोर का इमेज टू सिक्स इमेज थ्री एट इमेज फोर टेन इमेज इज फाइव ट्वेल्व इमेज इज सिक्स फोर्टीन इमेज इज सेवन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ द डोमेन दे आर हैविंग दे आर क्रॉसपॉन्डिंग इमेजेस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन में क्या था ऑल द एलिमेंट ऑफ द डोमेन हैव द सेम इमेज बट हियर दे आर हैविंग द क्रॉसपॉन्डिंग इमेजेस It doesn't matter, but all the elements of the domain must have the image in Y. Then only it will be a function. So it is a function, and domain is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and range is one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now the third question: one, three, one, five, two, five. Yeah, हम देखते हैं इस domain one का image three. One का five here one element of a domain is having two images three and five. You see the function here y equals to x plus five. If x is given one, we know that there will not be two images. There will not be two values. Here we are telling three for one and one for five. So the elements. That is one corresponds to two different images three and five. So therefore, this relation is not a function. And when it is not a function, no need of writing down its domain value or range value. Now next question number three 
If f of x equals to 2x minus 5, find f of 0, f of 7 and f of minus 3. So here we have to do x के स्थान पे 0 in place of x will put 0 in place of x will put 7 in place of x will put minus 3 so we will get the value for f of 0 first 2 into 0 minus 5 0 minus 5 equals to minus 5 second one f of 7 x के स्थान पे in place of x 7 2 into 7, 14, minus 5, 9. And third, in place of x, now we have substitute minus 3, that is 2 into minus 3, minus 5, minus 6, minus 5, minus 11. If it is given, I am adding one more, f of h. If I have calculated the value for f of h, f of h, not love, in place of x only we have to substitute h to h minus 5. So f of 0 minus 5, f of 7, 9, f of minus 3, minus 11 and f of h to h minus 5. Second one, next question, fourth, t of c, function t of c that is equals to c variable may 9 by 5 c plus 32. So t of 0 in place of c we put 0 plus 32 is equal to 32. 0 plus 32 is 0. Then comes 9 by 5 into 28 plus 32 is equal to 9 upon 5. C is the sum 28 plus 32. You just simplify by taking LCM and you can get the answer. Now, value of c when t of c is equal to 212. So, we have calculated the value of c, this one, when the value of this function t of c is given 212. So, what happens? t of c is equal to 212, 9 by 5, c plus 32. So, 212 minus 32 equals to 9 c upon 5. So 2, 0, 21 minus 3, 18 equals to 9c upon 5. 9, 2 is 18, 20. So cross multiply c is equals to 20 into 5 equals to 100. That is our value for c. Okay. Now some extra questions I am going to discuss for the value of the functions. If f of x you must write down this question in your fair notebook. If f of x equals to log x, find f of 1. So solution f of 1, x ke jaga mein log 1 or log 1 ki value ho ti hai 0. Is liye, is function ki value ho jayegi 0. Next, second question. f of x is given x sub 1, x minus 1. We have to show that f of sec square theta, that is, LHS f of sec square theta is equal to here x element sec square theta upon sec square theta minus 1. From the second identity 1 plus 10 square theta equal to sec square theta. So sec square theta divided by sec square theta minus 1 will become tan square theta. Sec square theta can be tan 1 by cos square theta. And tan square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta, which can be taken as 1 by cos square theta into cos square theta reciprocal of it and upon sin square theta. This cos square theta cancel out, and 1 upon sin square theta is our cosec square theta, and that is our RHS. Now let's go to the next question. If f of x equals to 1 minus cos x, then find f of pi by 4. Since f of x is equals to 1 minus cos x, so f of pi by 4, that is 1 minus cos pi by 4. Cos pi by 4. Pi ki value of the 1 infinitely. Abhi hamne trigonometry start nahi kiya hai. Is wala se majbur laga le raha hu. 1 minus cos pi by 4 that is 
वन माइनस कॉस ये होता है रेडियन में ये एंगल पॉइंट एट फोर रेडियन में है इसको डिग्री में चेंज करना है तो वन एटी डिग्री अपॉन पाई से मल्टीप्लाई योर मल्टीप्लाई विथ वन एटी बाई फाइव सो पाई एंड फाइव कैंसल दिस बिकम्स फोर्टी फाइव एस इन क्लास टेंथ वी आर स्टडीड दैट क्रॉस फोर्टी फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू वन बाई टू एल्सियम ले लीजिए रूट टू रूट टू माइनस वन अपॉन रूट टू इज योर आंसर फॉर एफ ऑफ फाइव बाई फोर minus of f of x 
So a function f of x is said to be an odd function if f of minus of x equals to minus of f of x. Example, अगर हमारे पास function है f of x equals to x cube, again we are going to take the condition f of minus of x put करेंगे minus x the whole cube minus to the power that is the odd number will become minus x cube which is minus of f of x. Therefore, this function f of x equals to x cube is an odd function. Now Here are some other problems. Prove that it is an odd function. f of x is given to us x cube plus 3x minus 4 sine cube x. So f of minus of x minus x in place of x minus x in place of x and minus of 4 sine cube of minus of x. Minus x cube minus x cube plus into minus minus and this can be written as sine of minus of x the whole cube. This becomes minus x cube minus 3x and minus 4 since trigonometry may just Sine of the negative angle is always equals to minus sine x. ये याद रखेंगे जब trigonometry start करेंगे तब करेंगे. Sine of minus of x is equals to minus sine of x. तो ये हो जाएगा minus sine x the whole cube. Minus x cube minus 3x. अब minus to the power 3 will be minus only minus into minus plus 4 sine Cube x. Now I'm going to take minus common x cube plus 3x minus 4 sine cube x. So this whole the whole function, which is our equal to f of x, again. So f of minus of x now becomes equal to minus f of x, which implies that f of x is an odd function. Clear? Next solution for proving even function f of x is equal to x square plus 2x sine x plus 3. f of minus of x minus x square 2 into minus x sine of minus of x plus 3. So Minus the square positive minus or sine of minus of x is minus sine x so double minus the product so it will become positive two x sine x plus three which is equal to again the same function f of x so therefore it implies that f of x is an even function is an even function so all this. Questions are important questions. Please solve in your fair notebook and practice it. Now next moves to the next question. Next we move to the next. Now let's move to the next question. If f of x equals to log e one minus x upon one plus x, then prove that f of a plus f of b equals to f of a plus b upon one plus c. So first for the solution, f of a. In place of x, we put a to the base e. F of b in place of x, we'll put b. One minus b upon one plus b. This we got it. Now from R H S, I'll start. F of a plus b upon one plus a b. Which is equal to log to the base e 
1 minus a plus b upon 1 plus ab 1 plus a plus b upon 1 plus ab means in place of x I am going to substitute a plus b upon 1 plus ab 1 minus a plus b upon 1 plus ab 1 plus x 1 plus a plus b upon 1 plus ab now simplify 1 plus ab minus a minus b sign change upon 1 plus ab reciprocal it after taking LCM 1 plus ab 1 plus ab plus a plus b so this 1 plus ab and 1 plus ab cancel out so log to the base e 1 minus a minus b plus ab rearrange the terms 1 plus a plus b plus ab which gives us in the next step log to the base e 1 minus a and minus b if we take common from the last two terms we get 1 minus a and here also the same 1 plus a plus b common 1 plus a so now in the next step log to the base e 1 minus a common 1 minus b 1 plus a common 1 plus b now this complete 1 minus a upon 1 plus a and 1 minus b upon 1 plus b this one इसको हम ले लेते हैं m और इसको ले लेते हैं n तो log m into n क्या होता है log m plus log n which is equals to log 1 minus a upon 1 plus a plus log 1 plus a upon 1 plus b which is equals to our f of a plus f of b that is our LHS so here log m into n is equals to log m plus log n so be careful about this formula f of a log a 1 minus a upon 1 plus a f of b 1 minus b upon 1 plus b I just start writing f of a plus b upon 1 plus a b x is here so in place of x I am going to substitute this value complete 1 minus a plus b upon 1 plus a b 1 plus a plus b upon 1 plus a b after taking LCM and simplification and taking common I got 1 minus a upon 1 plus a 1 minus b upon 1 plus b so this whole part n is equal to n this whole part n is equal to n so log n is equal to n log n plus log n which is equal to function of a and this is equal to function of b sorry it is 1 plus a 1 minus b it is 1 minus b so that becomes f of a plus f of b that is our arches now let's move to the next question f of x is equals to given log x to the base e first question f of e x that is log e x to the base e so this is log m into n it becomes log e x plus log e to the base e so log n plus log n ho gaya ab log e x humar pas kya hai function of x hai lekin log e ki value hoti hai 1 since log e ki value is 1 that is our RHS Second question f of x to the power n log e x to the power n Now log x to the power n in power of the coefficient mein aajayega n log x to the base e and n or e log e x kya hai apana f of x Since log e x to the power n is equal to n log x to the base e hota hai third 
f of u into v that is log of e or x के स्थान पे u v again the formula log m into n log m plus log n and this will become f of u equals to sorry f of u plus f of v because f of x is log x to the base c so f of u will become log u to the base c and f of v log v to the base e fourth f of u upon v that is log u upon v to the base e and now log m upon n is equals to log n minus log n so log u to the base e log v to the base e since log m by n is equals to log m minus log n so log u becomes f of u and log v becomes f of v so f of u minus f of v so all these questions please write down in your fair notebook in next class i will be explaining you about domain and the range of a function how to find out the domain and range of the functions at least 8 to 10 questions that those questions on you study and about the addition subtraction multiplication and division of the algebraic expression algebraic functions okay thank you